Hello viewers, I am Manoranjan Burman and today I am going to briefly describe about the blood supply to the heart and what will happen if there is any blockage to the coronary artery. The heart is a vital organ of our body. The main function of the heart is to pump the blood constantly through the blood vessels so that it can reach each and every cell of our body and exchange materials like oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutrients, waste products with them. To perform this, the heart beats about 1 lakh times per day, which adds up to 35 million beats in a year and about 2.5 billion times in an average lifetime. Your heart beats slowly when you are sleeping or relaxing, but your heart pumps more vigorously when you are active, like you are doing exercise, running. Now my question is, how does the heart muscle take oxygen, nutrients and eliminates carbon dioxide and metabolic waste products? The right coronary artery and the left coronary artery supplies blood to the heart muscle. This coronary artery arises from the aorta, just above the level of aortic valve. The coronary artery receives about 5% of the blood pumped from the heart, even though the heart comprises a small proportion of the body weight. The coronary artery forms various branches and eventually forming a vast network of capillaries. Most of the venous blood is collected in a number of cardiac veins that join to form coronary sinus and it opens into the right atrium and the remainder passes directly into the heart chamber through the little venous channels. The heart muscle needs continuous blood flow to perform its activities. What if, when a branch of coronary artery is blocked, the commonest cause is an atheromatous blood complicated by thrombosis. Because of the block in the coronary artery, the blood supply to the heart muscle is stopped and the heart muscle will stop working. Eventually, it will get damaged. The damage is permanent because the cardiac muscle cannot regenerate. There are some clot dissolving drugs which can restore the flow of blood through the blocked artery and can greatly reduce the extent of permanent damage and improve the patient. But the treatment must be started within a few hours of the infection occurs. Myocardial infection is usually accompanied by very severe chest pain behind the sternum. The pain continues even the individual is at rest. Thank you for watching. If you found it helpful, please like, share and comment. And those who are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.